This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. Opinions expressed on the following program are those of the show hosts, not WPSL or WPSL Port St. Lucie broadcasters. Any reproduction and reuse of this program without written consent of WPSL is strictly prohibited. However, you are allowed, of course, to like and share it all on Facebook. Time now for Joanne's World of Nutrition with your host, Joanne Seeger. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. I hope everyone's having an amazing morning. Oh, boy. I just on this corner cliff, I... Um, Almost there was almost this big accident right when I was about to turn. Ooh. It was like this landscaping truck and a trailer and this big huge expedition in front of me, uh -oh. and neither knew who was giving the right away for the guy to turn the other way. So then they both decided to go. Let's all just so close your eyes here, and step on the. Gas. I know I was cracking up because they're both trying to be kind and wave each other on, and then it's like this chicken game, and then <laughs> oh my god, they both go at once, and then all of a sudden we're swerving on the sides of roads. I'm like, this is hysterical. Started out as a so. You can go ahead first, and the other one said, oh, no. I know. It was first. like, and I'm like behind them that going, can rage. you guys decide so I can go already? You road know? rage occurs when oh, that yeah. stuff happens. Good I know. They both handled it pretty well, though. You know, <laughs> there was no uh, flagging of hands, but, oh, wow. So I missed you last week. So did you have yeah. a nice July 4th? Well, of course I did. I, uh, I, I don't think I... I, I think I woke up at some point during the day, once or twice, and rolled over and went back to sleep. Because okay. <laughs> All right. So that's your own version of fireworks. Well, yeah. Matt and I, um, you know, this is the week that both of um, our kids' parents take them for the full week. So it was really the oddest thing because both of our children um, went out of the country. So um, Matt's um, uh, ex-wife uh, took the kids to Columbia, and my ex uh, took them to the Cayman Islands, like rough life these kids have, right? Oh, wow. Um, yeah. So what, what did we decide to do? We decide to go to um, Venice Beach, Florida, and rehab um, – a family home and so we literally worked 18 hour days for Venice seven Beach days Handle? yep I, I used to hang out up there I, I, oh. was in, I was in port st joe for a while oh my god so cool i mean i absolutely love it but um this house was built in 1932 wow. so yes we worked our buns off with two good friends of ours and um so july 4th seeing those fireworks and sitting back and Ooh, that was nice. But, um, but yeah, so happy belated July 4th, everybody. I hope everyone had an amazing week. And uh, I don't even know what show you guys played, if what you played, but hopefully it was a good one. <laughs> I, I think I it won't... may have been a Dr. Ravi. Uh, well, then we know it's a good one. And speaking of him, next week is the time he comes on with me. And um, for anyone interested, we are going to be talking about like um, leg cramps, restless leg syndrome, sciatica, really um, growing pains, anything that is making you wonder like, why can't my legs rest? Why am I getting these cramps? Why all this twitching and unnerving throughout um, my muscles and bones, like what's happening here? Um, what prompted me is that I've never got so many questions, not only through my website, but at the store level about restless leg and growing pains. Even my son, who's just about 16, um, like he's getting it. And I really think it's, you know, the sedentary lifestyle that we have going on. That's just one of the many things we're going to go over. But it's uh, yes, <laughs> yes, staring at uh, devices all day, which us adults sitting, are guilty of around. it too. Yeah, sitting hey, with the yeah, when I look around, it's not the kids anymore. I see all the moms and dads out there and adults, you know, staring at their devices. Um, but yeah, so next week you definitely don't want to miss it. It's Dr. Ravi and uh, talking about all that kind of stuff. And before we go any further, um, with just uh, you know the talk of the day we have to do the breathing exercise and we have to do a good four rounds cliff because oh. i need to 
focus wow. and get centered, you know. And Well, there might be somebody listening in who's all wound up and tightened up. Oh, and, and we might have some newbies up. listening. So yeah. welcome any newbies to the show. So every Thursday morning, uh, we start the show with a beautiful breathing exercise, not only proven to reduce blood pressure, enhance your immune system, but it just gets you centered, focused, and just gives your body a moment to really um, get stronger. And all so. of the uh, all natural knowledge, uh, it, it helps us heal. <laughs> yeah, healing. And this is nothing spooky. This is Heal- natural. Yeah, folks. healing starts with the mind. It doesn't get any nat- more natural than breathing. <laughs> That's right. I know. Free to all. All right. So let's exhale out all the drama, the almost accidents, the phone calls, the, you know, just everything. Just exhale it out. And we're going to breathe in for five through our nose. We're going to hold for five. And then we're going to exhale for five through our nose as well. So please, no mouth breathing. Cover that mouth. And let's begin. Exhale. Let it all out. <sighs> and okay. Breathe through Here we your go. Nose. Okay. Stand by. Now begin. Inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Release slowly. One, two, three, four, five. Again. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Release. Two, three, four, five. Again. Number three. Two. Three, four, five. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Release. Two, three, four, five. One more time. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Release. Two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Cliff, yeah. you're just getting better at that counting every single week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I've been releasing some guided meditations on the internet here and there. Nice. Okay. I'm sure that it goes a little deeper than a five count, but nice. Well, yeah, because, you know, uh, if you ever have trouble sleeping, try that breathing method, too, because you'll be out like a light in no time. I know. Breathing and counting, yeah. two essentials. Well, um, if anyone can tell, I'm kind of just, uh, oh, wait. We have our guest. He's on the line. I was just about to oh, say, I'm oh, just oh. totally uh, trying to kill time All here. All right. Good morning, Bert. Are you there? Yes. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. You just missed our breathing exercise, but perfect timing. You had that down perfectly. So how are you this morning? Doing great. Awesome. Um, I am so glad you're back on the show with us. So everyone, um, welcome to the show and thanks for spending some time with us this morning. On the line with us this morning, we have Burke Golding Jr., the owner of Positive Power Nutrition, and I uh, sell his products at my store, and I use them personally as well as the whole family. And so today um, we have 45 minutes, and Cliff will just take a real quick break in 15 minutes, okay, because we want to get as much info from this extremely intelligent gentleman as we can. So, Bert, you having a good morning so far? I know it's early for you there in California, right? Yes, but the weather is beautiful. I mean, it gets up to almost 100 during the day, but in the morning it's nice and cool, so it's it's just beautiful. What is it's considered nice, nice and cool for you? I'm just curious. <laughs> like, is it like 80 in the morning when you guys wake up there? or? Uh, no, it it's probably um, about uh, 65 to 70. Oh my God, that's beautiful! Yeah, oh, oh yeah, wow, you really are nice. so lucky. If I don't get up before the sun, and you know, in Florida, forget it. It's already humid, and the the gnats are already biting me. <laughs> so, oh no! <laughs> but that's okay. I won't. I went to Sea World with my family yesterday. You know, we took all uh, all the kids, so it was six of us, and it was crazy hot. But Sea World, I don't know, Bert, have you ever been there? Sea World in Orlando. The park? Um, I ha- I have not been to SeaWorld in Orlando. Well, it's beautiful. Um, and it's kind of, you know, most parks you're like kind of like the brutal sun is beating down on you the whole time. But at SeaWorld, they have a lot of like um, almost like cave-like entrances. So you're going through aquariums and you're undercover. So it's like the only way in Florida like you can do a park in the summer because if not, you're like, whew, heat stroke. <laughs> 
and, uh, and there's probably what some events where you get splashed with water or something. Oh yeah, you, there's a lot of water sprayers <laughs> and to keep people alive, you know. <laughs> but yeah. it's I I mean this sincerely, and it's nothing to do with the fact that you were going to be my guest today. But um, during July Fourth week, I was doing a major rehab, um, and there was one product that we bought. Um, to redo the cabinets that was extremely like toxic where it, the instructions are, you know, open up your roof, don't breathe this in, put a ventilator on. And I was thinking about, there was a part when you were my guest last time where you were talking about one of your products helping detoxify like heavy metals. And I'm like, oh my God, I didn't bring that bottle with me. When I get home, I'm going to, you know, <laughs> I'm going to like drink the whole bottle because I felt so toxic. <laughs> so I did think about you during my July 4th vacation. <laughs> Uh, so yeah well you uh, know i i think uh, what we were talking about was super silica and when you put those drops into your drinking water it, the silica um helps support the kidneys and the colon but it also uh helps uh attract all of the heavy metals and heavy chemicals out of the body and pulls them out which is an which is a important thing yes even definitely. if you're not doing what you were doing it's, <laughs> it's just important every day we're exposed to these toxins and and we get used to it and so after a while we we don't even realize how much exposure we're getting I know it was crazy like I know like I was aware because you know there was like crossbow and skeletons on you know the packaging but yet there's a lot of things in life that um you know we're just not aware we're around and we're breathing in every day and we're getting through our skin but kind of getting ahead of myself super excited that you're here so so positive power nutrition um can you tell us um i know that my what my two favorite products are but what you want to discuss today and how you got started and your products are absolutely amazing so i just came off a of vacation so i might be a little hyped up and uh you know <laughs> rare to go so just uh Start us in, in your, your world, Bert. How'd you come to Positive Power Nutrition, and uh, where has it led you? Well, it, it's, uh, it's been quite an a, uh, inspiring journey. Um, it turns out that the two main products that uh, we make and that we sell uh, are, are Cell Power and Super Silica, and this is the 70th anniversary of Cell Power. Oh, so, wow. Um, Congratulations. And, and, and yeah, it, it, you know, that means that over the last 70 years, there have been millions and millions of people in the U.S., as well as uh, in China, Malaysia, Australia, and now we're um, over in Dubai in the Middle East. But millions of people that have used the product since 1949 when it was discovered. And then uh, nine years later, super silica was discovered. And uh, there are a lot of silica products now. It's gaining more and more attention, finally. But it turns out that out of all of the silica products, the highest absorption of silica being able to get into the cells, the individual cells of the body, uh, is super silica. It comes in at about 90 to 95 percent of the silica uh, in the liquid is absorbed into the cells, whereas with like a, a vegetable capsule of, say, horsetail or a bamboo or other sources of silica, you're getting about one and a half to three percent. So, what you know, we're talking about is as high as 30 times higher absorption, which is and critical. The body needs to have yep. silica in every single cell. So, positive power nutrition, our main, uh, I guess, our main mission, other than uh, guarding the products and making sure that the formulas are not lost to humankind, but our main mission is to support uh, the independent health food stores and the natural practitioners so to support people like you um, because that's where all this knowledge is. We find that in the uh, independent health food stores across the country, there are um, owners and managers and employees in these stores that have seen what truly works. They have this knowledge and this experience that is just irreplaceable. So every time someone uh, retires I just figured that all of that knowledge is no longer available to the customers coming in the in the store. There has to be some way that we can pass this information, this experience, this uh, legacy down to the to the new um, the new staff, the new employees in the store. You, have you have you ever talked to someone who's been 
you know, maybe doing it for 20 or 30 years and, and able to, to get some of their knowledge? <laughs> well, I got to tell you, because, you know, Bert, I'm going on 33 years now. <laughs> and Wow. Yep, 33 years. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, especially in the summers with the kids that I try to, you know, kind of have like a teacher schedule and be with my children in the summer because in season it's so busy at the store, you know, it's usually, you know, um, nonstop. And it's hard to like take all that experience and knowledge and, you know, put it into, like you said, the staff member. But I mean this honestly, like your program for your company and carry your education uh, manager, she, I mean, you guys do it right. Your podcasts, your training modules, I mean, you are doing the best. But if we could just get a lot of companies to follow your role, um, but you're right. I don't know how to, you know, put all those years of information and the weekend conferences and the training workshops and the books and the schooling. How do you get that to the next person? I don't know. Is it possible? <laughs> well, I think I think uh, some people are starting to do more and more uh, internships and and realizing that it's not just a person that comes to work in, in the store, you know, just because they need to earn a little money or need a job. But for those that, that want to learn, I mean, it does take years. There's no question to transfer that knowledge across. And people have to be doing things. I find that, that uh, people that will come in and start testing their saliva pH once a week and get their pH score and they start charting it and then they start seeing what it is, if you have someone that's curious enough and, and wants to learn, then over a period of two or three years, they really can. But yeah, there's no way to download that immediately. But I think it, it works the same for um, all the customers that come into your store, is that if they really will start um, testing their, their pH um, balance, uh, saliva pH once a week by doing that first thing in the morning, uh, when they wake up, before they brush their teeth, before they eat or drink anything, just you know, put the saliva, uh, salivate, drool into a like a plastic picnic spoon, put it in there, and uh, use a clinical grade tester to find out what it is. When you start charting that week by week, and you make it a, uh, a I guess, an ongoing, consistent program, and each individual person will get excited because you'll start to see that progress. I mean, you're either heading towards balance or you're stuck or you're heading away from balance, and all of that comes from all the different components in our lifestyle. So I, I think you have to be doing it to learn, whether uh, it's store staff or whether it's the individual customers that we just love that come into the stores. You know, if you're doing a program consistently and then recording it, observing, I think that's the, that's the key. Well, Bert, I know you're a nutritionist, and what, and I know that the technology that you have developed and the products and, and it's just, it's very advanced um, describing how much has gone into, especially, you know, super silica and cell power. Um, but what I love is that, like you mentioned, most things that we need to test in our bodies, you know, we think of, oh, we have to go to a diagnostic center. We do got to do blood work or a, an analysis that's very detailed or expensive. But pH strips, you sell them, and they're affordable. They're something you can do conveniently, easily. It's not like sticking needles or doing expensive lab tests. And it's I love that because you can literally monitor your progress yourself very easily, very affordably. Um, so if anyone's wondering what we're talking about right now, we're using words like pH. Um, that, um, Bert, why don't you take... <laughs> Can you still hear me? Oh, we lost the phone. I think that's him calling back. Okay, so apparently there was uh, something occurred in one of the other studios. I wonder if it had anything to do with that. But uh, 
We'll stand by for just a moment to make sure that uh, we have him on the line. But uh, I think we got him. Three. Three. On, three. on three. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, it's line three we're after. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. I hear nothing in my earpiece. Are you there? Okay. He's there. Bert, are you there? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. wow. That's the first time that ever happened, guys. You, yeah. Everyone good? We ready I, to go? I guess so. Oh, at and is doing something down the road up the pole, huh? That Okay, that figures. All <laughs> right. All right. Those right, things happen. All right, Bert, sorry about that. Okay, so, so we were just about to like tell the audience, in case we have any newbies listening, which I'll be so thankful for, can you just kind of go over what PH stands for, what it means, and, um, and really, I guess, the, the first um, uh, product, the cell power, and why to use that for your PH? Yeah, um, uh, PH stands for... Uh, potential hydrogen but what what we're measuring is the acidity or the uh, alkalinity of fluids so in the body um, the most uh, accurate gauge of whether our body is acidic throughout all of the uh, cells and all the tissues would be doing a, a fasting saliva test so that's why we say to using a good clinical grade test strip to test the saliva once a week because if it's first thing in the morning and that means you haven't been eating or drinking anything for at least the last three hours or during the whole night's sleep that fasting test means that you're not just finding out the acidity or the alkalinity what the what the ph range is for just the saliva when it's a fasting test you're finding out what the uh, acid levels are in um, over half of the body, over 56% of your body weight is composed of clear fluids. That's the lymphatic fluid, the cerebral fluid, the spinal fluid, the synovial fluid in all the joints, um, the fluid that fills up every one of your um, 50 trillion cells. So every cell has fluid inside the cell membrane. So you're really um, testing what the entire body is. So some books will tell people to test the urine, but that's just not a very good gauge as to what is inside the cells. Uh, the urine is what the body is getting rid of. It's a waste product. And so that will tell you how much acid you're getting rid of, but it's not telling you what stays inside the cells. So, so pH is really important. And it turns out, out of all the things that I've used with people as a clinical nutritionist, um, the dietary supplement liquid drops cell power, when you put just five drops of cell power into a 16 ounce glass of purified water or distilled water and you drink that you know maybe four or five or six times a day a person does it consistently every day of the week it's the most uh, I guess the most powerful way to help your body get into a balanced pH range and when you're in the acidic range which at 95 percent of the population of uh, adolescents and adults in the United States uh, are in the acid range. And if you have acidity inside of your cells and inside of the, the clear fluids of the body, then it uh, provides an environment where viruses, bacteria, even cancer cells all really love an acidic environment. And when you can become just slightly alkaline, just, just barely above seven, which is the dividing line, Everything below 7 is acidic. Everything above 7 is alkaline. So if you're just barely above that dividing line at 7.1 to 7.5 on your weekly um, pH test, it supports the body in creating an environment that is perfect for all the healthy cells, for all of the, the good gut bacteria, all the probiotics. You just want to be in that slightly alkaline range. And the cell power, I know uh, some of my listeners might be thinking, well, you know, I eat well, I exercise, I can do this, you know, my body can do it on its own. But I've definitely used the pH strips and noticed that it's a lot more than dietary. Our stress levels, our multitasking, not getting enough sleep, it all contributes to an unhealthy acidic body. And so it's sometimes, I mean, I really feel like I would have to eat really well, meditate, like really 
an effort that I don't even know if I have in me where the cell power definitely assists in that much more efficiently, you know, gives me that peace of mind that my body's staying at that right pH. So a healthier yeah. level. Well, yeah, and, and when, you've, when you're encouraging people to do the deep breathing and the meditation, all of that is very, very helpful in reducing stress levels and helping to get rid of that source of acid because that's the, uh, the most dangerous source of acid in the body is, um, is the bottled up unresolved stress. That, that's actually more acidic or acid forming in the body than even the coffee bean or alcohol or tobacco or all, a lot of those things that are very acidic. I mean, you know, people have known for years that, uh, um, that tobacco damages the body, but I, do, I think very few people know that it's because of the acidity. And so it's not just tobacco smoke, which will damage the lung tissue and, and uh, can lead to severe cancers, but it's even um, chewing tobacco, which is it releases the acid as a person chews it, and, and it, it's much faster in creating cancer than even smoking. So for people that are chewing tobacco, uh, that's probably the fastest way. If you really want to get cancer, if that's your goal, is let's see how fast I can get cancer. People that are chewing tobacco will end up with cancer of the, the tongue or of the esophagus yeah. or of the gums probably in just two or three years where it may take 20 or 30 years of smoking to develop cancer and i heard and too that those the acidity creates yep. an environment where cancer cells will multiply very quickly yeah i heard that the um you know <clears throat> unfortunately our younger population is um, smoking those jewels now with the nicotine in them and i've heard stories of like it developing within a year um, the cancers and and that I didn't even you know I um, didn't even think of that angle of the acidity that you know they're because they can do it in more social environments even if smoking's not allowed they're doing it much more often so getting you know consuming a lot more of the nicotine um, it's just a scary stuff a little bit with that those things um, getting off uh, getting off track but yes like um i definitely have customers that say to me okay i'm not smoking anymore but i'm going to start chewing tobacco and i try to explain that to them and it's unfortunately such a strong addiction but but don't you feel bert that when you use the cell power um as your body gets healthier and more in balance and more at the correct ph i don't know i feel like the mind has the ability to make better choices and the adrenal glands are recovering and you know, you you have the stamina and maybe the strength to like make better choices, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I love the way you just described that. That that is so true. I've had people that just have kind of given up on their health, and uh, they you know just say, well, forget it. You know, I, I'm never going to get over these illnesses. The doctor says I'm going to have them for the rest of my life, and they really have basically given up. But when they start doing something healthy, like uh, drinking more. Uh, purified or distilled water during the day, trying to get up to three quarters of a gallon or a gallon of water. If they'll just do that one thing, and then if they start adding the cell power drops, you'll start to see that they start to gain hope. That yes, as you create an environment that's healthier, I think it does affect the mind, and that uh, the whole body kind of expresses a desire to to survive and to thrive. I mean, to to not just give up. Yeah, Definitely, I, I and that's that's a that. better feeling, right? <laughs> hope, hope, not despair. And so, if yeah. so, someone's using the drops. Um, let's tell them how easy it is. It's this tiny little bottle, extremely affordable. So, what do they do with it after they buy it? Um, yeah, the, uh, the the two ounce cell power now uh, makes up to 140 quarts of, uh, and so it is very very economical. And all you would do is is uh, gently shake the bottle before you take off the cap and then you would um, go ahead and, and uh, count the drops into your glass or into your water bottle. So it's five drops of cell power for every 16 ounces of water. And what it does is that because the um, electrical energy, the potential electrical energy in the cell power drops is so high that when you put it in your drinking water, it raises the electrical potential of all of the water in that glass or in that in that water bottle by a thousand times higher within five minutes. So you're getting these this highly 
uh, energized potential energy going in, which helps raise the electrical uh, potential and the, the electricity level in all the cells of the body. And why that's important is that's how the body heals. I mean, if you, if you have a cut or uh, an injury, a broken arm, whatever it is, it takes extra electricity to actually provide for the uh, cell division of healthy cells that are going to repair that broken arm or fix that cut or whatever you're dealing with. So um, you've that got these little pretty drops important. you put it in there. Uh, <laughs> adult, adults can do that up to six times a day. That's what I try to shoot for is to get in 30 drops total, um, but not 30 drops in one glass of water. You need to make sure you're getting the six glasses of water. So if it's the cleanest water you can get, you're basically getting just hydrogen and oxygen. It's the H2O, which then can can carry the um, electrical charge into the cells, and all of the cells start operating better. Okay, and so when your body becomes um, healthier through the cell power, so and I noticed too, I mean, it's barely a flavor, so no one has to worry if they have like taste issues or color issues. It's, cl- it's a clear liquid, and I would say maybe a, a, a tiny taste. I mean, it's very pleasant. It's, it's barely noticeable. Um, and the more water yes, you do. Yeah. A lot of people say it's, it's kind of like putting maybe a, a little uh, lemon that you would squeeze into your water, say if you're having exactly. a restaurant or something. Yeah, I was going to say a little um, lime essence, but like, it, yeah. Just... yeah it's, it's very, very slight, but you do want to make sure that, that you can taste it just a little bit. So if you're using water that's not quite as pure, if you're using a filtered water or spring water and it's not, uh, it's not the reverse osmosis or the distilled water, if you put the five drops in and you don't really notice uh, any slight citrus flavor or anything, well, then add a couple more drops. You want to be able to barely sense that, that, uh, that mild um, pleasant flavor um, and you would adjust that based on what water you're starting with oh okay um that's interesting to note okay so you want a little bit of taste just to um yep. to see, feel it there okay great and yeah, yeah and it, it, it's kind of exciting sometimes we see it with uh, our children or grandchildren as you know the, the younger generation will say i just don't like the taste of water and so they're drinking other you know, juices, sodas, whatever. <laughs> Toxic but as soon liquids. as they get the drops in it, they go, I really like that. You know, so for one of our um, team members here in our company, her grandson, after a while, kept saying, you know, you know, Nana, I, I want the power water. I want the power water. Oh, I love so it. He would, he'd say, please put the drops in my water because it made it very pleasant. And he was drinking a lot more water, which was, which is important. All right, that so they can use you know so if people don't have their hands on reverse osmosis water, that's fine. But you just want to make sure the drops are adjusted to taste a little lime or lemon essence. That's easy to remember. Yeah. And as far as um, the receptacles, uh, glass, plastic, uh, any differences? Is any um, should people look out for different type of containers? Well, if you can you can use a cell power in any of those containers if you're drinking it right away. But if you're going to have it stored in a container for the longest, uh, you know, all day long or for several days, glass is the number one choice. A really good grade of stainless steel container or water bottle would be the second choice. Um, So if you can get one of those, it's much better. But, you know, I have some people that will have the little uh, um, half liter or 16 ounce little crushable water bottles and they'll put it in there and they'll drink it up and, and that's fine. It, it, it just has a lot of energy. It's the energy of sunlight is what is in the cell power. And so uh, it's very noticeable for those that deal with this. I was um, traveling up to Anchorage, Alaska, which I've done about four or five times over the past 10 years to do classes uh, for the public and to train doctors. And, and there was a uh, physician visiting from Nome, Alaska, way up there in the Arctic Circle, and the Native American doctor, and, and as a physician, she went up and picked up the bottle of cell power, and she goes, I feel like there's the energy of the sun, and I feel like there's sunlight. And I said, okay, who told you that? And she goes, no, I'm just, I'm just picking that up. And she wow, took it back up so and started cool. using with patients that were dealing with, with uh, um, SAD, or seasonal affective disorder, for those that had a lack of sunshine, and it really affected their 
uh, mood and their mental state as well as uh, physically. Um, she really found that the cell power was, was extremely important. So yeah, we sell a lot of it, a lot of the product in Washington State because of. Oh the, yeah, that's the, so uh, depressing. Oh god, it's yeah, all those gray the, skies. The, yeah. the gloom, the cloudiness that you get up near Seattle. We sell a lot of product there. I think it just helps people normalize their uh, their existence. Definitely, I know. Um, <clears throat> I think that slogan is like absolutely accurate and amazing. Like you know, sunshine in a bottle and that is such a great feeling for your body to feel energized but like there's so much to it like as far as like you were saying when every cell can take this in and become balanced and and also doesn't it help absorb all the other nutrients that you might be taking in and usually if you're doing high quality nutrients they're expensive so you don't want to waste them yes because and and this is this is what you were talking about earlier about uh, blood tests is that a lot of times you know, doctors will rely on blood tests, and they'll say, "Oh, yes, you've got really, um, you know, really good quantities of, of uh, calcium, magnesium, whatever minerals, iron, all these things in your blood." But just because it's in the blood doesn't mean it's actually making it to its destination, which is inside the cell. So when you raise the electrical potential at the cell membrane, it allows the cell membrane of each cell to become more permeable to allow the uh, nutrients, the fuel the water, the oxygen, the messenger hormones, everything that has to make it through that cell membrane. So if if you don't have enough electricity, the cell membrane closes down kind of to protect itself because it doesn't have the energy to to defend itself. When it's energized, it then allows all these things into the cell that you want to have. So the absorption we found is double to triple on the nutrients from the supplements you're taking in from the really good expensive uh, organic foods that people are buying okay that's that's really good almost triple that's great and and we're gonna um do a short break bert um but when we come back we definitely want to get into super silica definitely one of my favorites and um so everyone stay tuned for just one quick um commercial break and we'll be right back with bert's second amazing product super silica so hang on there everybody Guiding the Treasure Coast in health, one person at a time. That's their motto at Joanne's Nutrition World, Suite 121, in the historic arcade building on US 1, downtown Fort Pierce. Joanne brings more than 25 years of experience in the natural health industry, right here to you. Take advantage of this free personal guide to wellness and good health. Meet with Joanne herself and get started. Nutrition World always provides you with the hottest new product lines, natural and homeopathic remedies, herbals, and best of all, expert advice from the people who care. Call Joanne at 464-3598, 464-3598, and learn the correlation between diet and great health. Stop in today. The expert guidance to health is always free at Nutrition World. Nutrition World, Suite 121 in the Arcade Building, US 1, downtown Fort Pierce. Hey, it's Dr. Ravi at Tradition Family Chiropractic. We are dedicated to serving you and your family with integrity, compassion, and innovative care through the most advanced chiropractic care ever in chiropractic history, encouraging your health and your family's health to its maximum potential on a regular basis. Call us today at 772 775-0060 345-0060 or schedule online at traditionhealth.com for your free consultation. This is WPSL Fort St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. We now return to Joanne's World of Nutrition with Joanne Seeger. Hey everyone, thank you so much for spending some time with me this morning. Today's guest is Burt Golding Jr., the CEO of Positive Power Nutrition, a nutritionist, and uh, lots of information from this man. So we've talked about um, one of the greatest products that I sell at the store, and that's Cell Power for the first half of the show. And we're going to try to get for the last 15 minutes in about Super Silica, which I definitely take personally. Matt loves it. 
And uh, so, Bert, um, without further ado, let's talk about super silica. Yeah, well, you had mentioned earlier in the show that uh, how important the silica is for detoxing the body because there are some uh, heavy chemicals that just really do not want to leave the body through the uh, channels of elimination unless there are a lot of extra good minerals to go with it. So I guess one of the best ways to describe this is that for um, many nutritional experts, they have uh, given distilled water a really bad rap. They keep saying that, oh, yeah, you don't want to have distilled water because it leaches the good minerals from your body. And uh, that's not entirely true. What happens is that no matter what kind of water you're drinking, whether it's spring water, distilled water, mineral water, uh, the body always uses up two good molecules of good minerals for every one molecule of toxic uh, elements that needs to leave. So I, to picture this in my mind, I always picture that that you've got somebody who's being released from prison and as they're, they're finally leaving, they're being walked out of the prison towards freedom, and you've got a prison guard on e either side of them and the prisoner in the middle as they're being, you know, basically leaving the prison. So as things are stuck in our body, for every uh, toxic mineral, there has to be two good minerals on either side escorting it out. So that means we need to make sure we're getting lots of good trace minerals in our body, and one of the most important is silica. So as you take more and more super silica, it means that you're able to release more uh, imprisoned All the toxins. bad guys we, out. Our bodies <laughs> store toxins. Well, I love that analogy, Bert. I'm envisioning, I love doing that with my, my mind, just envision like, you know, the two good guys pulling the bad guy right out. You say, you're out of here. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so, so because of that, distilled water is so good at getting rid of all of the bad stuff out of your body that, of course, there's, it's going to have more, it's accompanied by more and more good minerals. So for a person who, who looks at, um, in other words, so many times we have scientific evidence and only part of it is described. In other words, to influence people the way you want them to go, you only say part of it. So if somebody says, well, you're losing a lot more good minerals with distilled water, I'm going to say, but yes, aren't you also losing more toxic elements with distilled water? But they just leave that part out. So no matter what you have, it's always going to be at two to one ratio. So with mineral water, spring water, it just means that you have less good minerals leaving and you have less toxins leaving. So you want to flush the toxins out. That's one of the best things that, that super silica is for. As a matter of fact, as a clinical nutritionist, when I work with people that have, um, have high levels of radiation in the body and they're trying to get rid of the radiation, the more super silica that they take, the more that the radiation leaves their body, whether it's from uh, too many dental x-rays or too many medical x-rays or because they've been exposed to radiation in their job or um, I had a, a former um, military man that uh, as a young 18-year-old soldier, he was exposed to uh, atomic bomb fallout up in the deserts of Utah when he was really young. And in his mid-60s, he came to see me and his levels of radiation were just really high. Wow. His body had to protect him, had stored that inside of uh, the bone inside of cysts, inside of whatever, so that the radiation was partially blocked. And as he started getting um, more silica and other good minerals into his body, he was able to uh, finally eliminate that and get rid of what he had been carrying around for 50 years. Wow, that's amazing. So super silica is really good for that, but the main structural thing that super silica does is that it helps both the connective tissue as well as the bones and the teeth um, to be more flexible. So when you have someone who breaks a hip or, or has a, a, you know, starts to have broken bones, it's not that the bones aren't strong enough. Everybody keeps talking about bone density, bone density, but it's not the bones aren't strong enough. They're not flexible enough. So they get broken because they're brittle. 
So it's like one of those trees that you see that is the tree is basically dead. So if you grab onto a branch and pull, it just cracks right off. Yep. It's because that branch is not flexible. If it had, uh, if it was still alive and it had all of the tree sap going through that branch, you could pull it all the way down to the ground. It would bounce back up, and it would still be okay. So we want our bones. We want um, all the connective tissue. Gums are connective tissue. Most people don't think about it. But it's connecting the jawbone to the teeth. So you've got gums, teeth, bones, cartilage, tendons, ligaments. All of that needs silica. It's the element that allows it to be flexible. Okay. Well, and I know so many people now, um, I mean, dental issues are extremely expensive and painful. Um, and, you know, they say that, especially in Chinese medicine, our mouth health is a direct reflection on our body's health. So the silica, critical for that. Um, and I remember you had a little trick on the last show that you did with me. You said, like, to keep it, like, swirl it in your mouth for a little bit after, um, and then drink it down. Was it, was that um, one of the little tricks? Um, yeah, that, that's if you um, want the silica to be absorbed in the mouth rather than in the esophagus because both cell power and super silica, when you have it in your water and you're drinking it, it doesn't really go through the stomach. It doesn't have to be digested. It will be absorbed in the mucous membranes of the mouth or esophagus. So if you want more silica to the gums or the teeth or to the um, ears or the, the brain or the eyes because it turns out that the macula cells of the eye in the center of the retina are the cells in the body that require the most silica out of any cell that we have. And there's no human cell of any kind that can survive without silica. As soon as it loses all of the silica as a trace uh, element, that cell dies. But the most of it is going to be in the eyes. So if you do hold it in your mouth before, it allows it to be absorbed very close and it can, you can get it to the, the brain tissue. I mean, that's one of the most important things is that silica will help displace aluminum, and aluminum has been implicated as the, the number one toxin related to uh, Alzheimer's, bipolar disorder, all of those brain things, is that uh, the brain tissue must be high in silica or you start to uh, lose the memory connection. And that's so critical right now. Bert, um, as you're aware, it is a live call-in show, and we do have a caller. Do you have a moment to um, talk to a caller? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, welcome, John, to the show. Um, you have us on the line. How are you? Hello. Can you hear me? We sure can. Yeah, okay. You're coming in very faint, but I have a quick, simple question, and I'm going to listen on the radio because I can't hear you on the phone. Okay. Um, which would you say is uh, less healthy or more healthy between purified water and spring water? You know, I buy it by the case. I drink a lot of water. And I know there's been a lot of pros and cons, especially cons lately. Okay, well, I uh, think uh, Bert is the right guy to ask. So, yeah, listen I'm going to put and... the radio on because I cannot hear you. Okay, John, sounds good. All right, Bert, you want to take this one? I think everyone's yeah, probably that, wondering that about is this. That's such a great question, And John. also, I, mean, I can, uh, I, Bert, I want to add part two to this since you're answering this question. A lot of my customers are drinking the carbonated waters. Um, if you have any insight to that, I'd appreciate it. Yes. Okay. The, for the first question, um, if, the, if you can get spring water that's not polluted, um, that would still be an okay thing to do, but it's almost impossible. In all of North America, there's only one natural spring that is not polluted, and that is in Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's part of a... Uh, a federal nature reservation, which would be probably the first national park. So down in Hot Springs, Arkansas, there's a natural spring there that's uh, um, been set aside as, as protected by the federal government. And because the rainfall that falls on this mountain with all this uh, volcanic rock in it, it goes and trickles down through it. It takes 300 years from the rainfall to, to fall on the mountain to get down to the bottom of the springs. So that means that in about 240 years from now, even that will be polluted. But um, because it's, we're still drinking uh, the rain there from 300 years ago, it, that's the only one left. The only other um, really natural spring that's not polluted that I'm aware of anywhere in the world, and there might be others, 
is in Fiji. So if you're buy, buying the bottled Fiji water, that spring water is going to be healthy. If you're not doing either of those two, you really need to do purified. If you go and buy a gallon of purified water, um, it will come in a what looks like a, a plastic milk jug, which means it's a safe plastic. And it's, you know, it doesn't cost that much, dollar, dollar and a half a gallon. Purified means that it's run through a reverse osmosis filter. It's a special filter that takes all the garbage out of the water. So the idea is to drink the purest water you can because the body wants to get hydrogen and oxygen, which is just the plain H2O. So for anything else in the water, you just need to be careful. Okay, now, great answer. the second part of that question, Joanne, is you were talking about carbonated water. Yeah. Again, if it's not coming from a natural carbonated source, I think there's one source in Europe where it actually comes out with the bubbles already in it out of the spring. But if it's not naturally carbonated, you want to avoid it because if not, the way that you get bubbles into it make, to make a carbonated beverage is they take carbon dioxide and they pump that into the water and then they seal the cap on. That's why if you have a carbonated beverage, you leave the cap off overnight, what happens by morning? It's flat, yeah. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. All the, I mean, the, all the bubbles no escape. Bubbles because yeah. all the carbon dioxide is coming out. But yeah. we have to realize... That as wonderful as carbon dioxide is for plants, it's a waste product. I mean, our, our lungs are constantly working to try to get carbon dioxide out of our body. So if we're now drinking an artificially carbonated water or beverage, we're putting the carbon dioxide right. It's just, it's just waste. To talk about polluted, it's, it's a different kind of pollution, but it really is. And one of the reasons that carbonated became so popular is that the carbonation fools the taste buds on the tongue. So if you've ever had like a cola that, that with the cap left off overnight and then there's no carbonation next morning and you go to drink it, you think, oh, this is a cola. And you go to drink it and you go, oh, that tastes terrible. Guess what? It's always tasted that terrible. The reason that you didn't know it before is that the carbonation bubbles actually fool the taste buds on your tongue into thinking that it doesn't taste terrible. Wow. I never knew that, Bert. That's awesome. I mean, well, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate that everyone's addicted to those, but okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because <laughs> well, it's I like cases I mean, I was in always ca- into to root beer or, or some kind of 7 or Sprite or whatever for a long part of my life, but you just finally realize that, that it's also dehydrating. So when you drink carbon, uh, carbonated beverages, because of the carbon dioxide and what it does to the body, it will pull water out of your system. So for every cup of carbonated beverage, you need to drink three cups of good, clean water just to be back to zero. Wow. Okay. Well, but, that but you last still haven't line. still have hydrated, but at least you've gotten rid of the dehydration that's caused. And there are three substances that will cause that kind of dehydration. It's carbonated beverages, um, any kind of black or white or earl gray tea that has tannic acid in it, and then anything with a coffee bean, either right. caffeinated or decaf. Oh, Bert, I'm fortunately I've got to cut you off. we got to end the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll definitely have you back on again. Um, have an awesome day. Thank you so much. So this is Bert Golding, Jr., Positive Power Nutrition with Cell Power Super Silica. Have an awesome day, everyone. Thank you. You've been listening to Joanne's World of Nutrition. Brought to you by Nutrition World on WPSL Port St. Lucie, celebrating over 25 years and counting. The time right now is 11 o'clock. Stay tuned for Dr. Stuart Scheidt.